Hi everybody, happy Wednesday, and welcome to your Wednesday night Blaze workout. My name's Dan the Man, I'll be your Blaze at home trainer for today. And as always team, we have an awesome 45 minute Blaze workout to set you up for success for the rest of the week. Now the great thing about Blaze at home everybody is that we're gonna go through the full workout together. So that goes through cardio, that goes through strength, and that also goes for combat. We are the ultimate dream team. Now I have two 1.5 litre bottles of water. I'm gonna use that as my resistance today. Remember your my zone target is gonna be nine to 18 minutes in the red zone. But in the tougher moments of today's workout, guys, I want you to remember this. You can take the blaze out of the blaze studio, but you cannot take the blaze out of the blaze drive. Let's smash this Wednesday night workout, everybody. And we start your warm up with alternating rear lunge. So a nice long step back, drop your back knee, and keep your chest lifted. Abs are locked in, that's gonna help me to maintain my balance. And remember, I'm looking to drop my back knee here to find some good range of movement. Team, give me one more on each side, now check this out. We're gonna have an alternating lunge with a foot jab. So check it, I'm pushing my hips forward and then bringing my shoulders back in the opposite direction. That's gonna counterbalance my body and give me a little bit more momentum. Team, give me one more on each side. When you're ready, come and join me with a lateral lunge. Now I'm gonna try and find some additional range here by touching the floor. Opposite hand touches the opposite toe, but if that's not for you, just hit that lunge without the touch. Guys, give me one more on each side when you're ready. Squat, crawl forward, come and join me on a high plank. We have a hip circle. So I'm shifting my weight from side to side, sinking my hips, just a couple of inches into the ground. I'm looking for a rainbow range of movement to activate my core. One more on each side, groin a step, external rotation. Step my foot outside of my hand, externally rotate to activate my chest and my shoulders, as well as my thoracic spine. That's right, take it. Give me one more here. On the last one, keep the foot outside of the hand, Kick it through, and we have crunch and punch. So check it, one sit up, two punches. Now guys, this one's gonna feature in today's workout at some point. So you're gonna wanna get used to it now. It's also gonna activate the abs nicely. Ready for an awesome session today. All right guys, when you're ready, roll it over, and we have a mountain climber. That's right, stabilizing through the shoulders and locking in the abs as we drive the knee forward. Now remember team, this is a mountain climber, AKA mountain sprint, never ever a mountain walk. Guys, stand up when you're ready. We have jump lunge. So just starting to push the intensity of your workout a little bit now. But remember, this is blades, right? So let's get ready to redefine intensity. I'm driving from the ball of the tongue to push the ground away from me here. Guys, give me one more, check it. Skater lunge, let's go. Now the skater lunge again, is gonna feature in today's workout, but if you need an option for this, check it. We can hit a courtesy lunge. It's your workout, you choose. All right team, in three, two, one, take a recovery. Guys, great warm up. Now check out your 60 second skills demo. I'm gonna set you up in your fighting stance. So if you're right handed, we're gonna stand with your right foot back. If you're left handed, we're gonna stand with your left foot back. So rear leg is at 45 degrees, lead leg is at 15 degrees, my guard is nice and high. Elbows are locked into the body to protect myself from body shots. Now check out combination, that's gonna feature in round three of today's workout. We have a jab, cross and a roll so check it out from a side angle i want to make sure that my arms are fully extended as i aim to contact my opponent with the top two knuckles so i want to roll my shoulder here and turn the hips as i unleash my cross bench when i roll i keep my guard nice and high drop my back knee and i rotate my torso guys looking good we're about ready to smash this workout so guys, check out your cardio section today. 30-30 split. First 30 seconds is active recovery. Second 30 seconds is your cardio movement. 
movement for today is a skater lunge. Remember to elevate the rear leg for glute activation. If you need an option, remember it's that courtesy lunge. Target heart rate zone, yellow to red, your moves a skater. Strength section today. I'm gonna grab my water bottles, but don't worry if you don't have them, we can perform this with body weight. I'm gonna have a water bottle or a dumbbell squat press. So one squat, one press. I'm using the range of movement through my squat to help me to drive my water bottles up. Movement number two, find yourself a space on the ground, on a mat, or if you have a bench, you can use that too. Your movement number two here for 30 seconds is a Russian twist. So 30 seconds on move one, 30 seconds on move two. Option if you need for a Russian twist is to pop the feet down to anchor your lower body and continue to rotate from side to side. Guys, your target heart rate zone here is green to yellow. Check out your combat section. We have this, 10, straight jab, 10, consecutive cross. So here we're throwing straight punches through the jab, aiming to contact with the top two knuckles, just like we did in the skill demo. Followed by 10, cross punch, twisting the back foot to generate power for the hips. Followed by this, we're gonna drop the knee, drop the hand, kick through, and we have 10, crunch and punch. Two punches at the top, counts as one repetition. Target heart rate zone team is yellow to red. So guys, we start with the cardio section, we have 30 seconds of active recovery, followed by your 30 second movement. So when you're ready, we're just gonna take a nice light jog on the toes, and let's get ready to smash this Wednesday night workout. Come and join me with a jog, everybody. That's right. I know that some of you will be keen to really already start to lift the heart rate, but the key here is to make the most out of this active recovery section so that we can really smash the working set. Remember, your target heart rate zone is yellow to red. Remember, skater lunge is move number one. Takeoff is in just under 10 seconds. So get your mind ready, get your body ready to smash this workout. Skate a lunge. Come and join me, everybody. Let's do it. So let's break this down, right? So we're shifting from side to side, and I'm swinging my arms to build momentum. I want to ideally elevate that rear leg. That's going to give me some good glute activation. I want to land with a soft knee landing, slight bend in my knee, landing heel ball time. 10 seconds. Let's focus on the range and form first, then we can focus on speed and power. Team, take a recovery. Little jog, that's right, relax shoulders, relax arms, and get yourself mentally and physically prepared to smash this next set. Now team, we're gonna jump higher, we're gonna jump wider, and we're gonna aim to move faster. Take off in 10 seconds. Ha. Remember, we're looking for a target heart rate zone of yellow to red. By now, we should be ideally something upwards of 85% of your max. Three, two, one. Let's go for it. So remember, extra challenge was to jump wider, jump higher, swing your arms more, and move faster. So team, when we work upwards of 85% of your max, we begin to work anaerobically. We burn more calories, more fat, post-session as a result of that higher intensity movement. 10 more seconds, everybody. Let's really go for it. And three, two, one. Take your recovery. Final block of 30 seconds. Now team, if you want an extra challenge here or you want to keep moving a little bit more, start shadow boxing. Start lightly shadow boxing. Don't go too hard because we want to use this section for your active recovery. We want to make sure that we can smash the working set. So the final block of 30 seconds, we are targeting that red zone. Let's get ready team. Three, two, one. Skate the lunge. Let's start. One team, one dream. Can we jump higher? Can we jump wider? Can we swing the arms more? Can we move faster? Can we target that red zone? Extra challenge, we can lean forward a little bit more to that 45 degree angle. That's gonna give you more core engagement. Team, 10 seconds to go. How wide can we jump? How fast can we move? Ah, three, two, one. Recover. Guys, 30 seconds recovery, then we're gonna head into your strength section. Remember that move number one was your water bottle, dumbbell, or body weight, squat, 
we press. Second block of 30 seconds, we hit your Russian twist. Team takeoff is in 10, of course. Continue to keep yourself hydrated throughout the workout. All right, team, take off in five, four, three, two, one. Squat press, let's go. So let's use the first set to really focus on form. So notice how I'm using the range of movement through my squat to help me to drive my water bottle up to the sky. If you have no resistance today, we can take it into a prisoner squat. Position in the arms, behind the head, and my toes and my knees are positioned outwards. Just a few more seconds, everybody. Move number two is your Russian twist. Come and join me on the ground. Cross the legs, lean back to 45 degrees, and rotate from side to side. So we're looking for good range of movement here. Remember that in most cases, more range equals more muscle. Your target heart rate zone here is green to yellow. This core based movement is your opportunity to bring your heart rate down and focus on some good muscle pressure for the stomach. 10 more seconds. Just like rowing a boat, right? Three, two, one. Stand up, squat press everybody, let's go. So now we have the technique, now we have the form. We can focus on just pushing that anaerobic training and your heart rate a little bit higher by starting to move a little bit faster. So now it's an up and down movement. I punch my water bottles or my dumbbells or arms into the sky and I have no hesitation as I drop back down into the squat. Back into your Russian twist everybody. Let's do it. Now remember your options here. You can anchor the lower body by dropping your feet down. Remember to lean back to 45 degrees. That's going to really engage the abs. 15 seconds here everybody. It's all about you versus you. Oh yes, we're right here together on Wednesday night, smashing this workout, but you choose your option. That challenges you, and one that you can perform effectively. Guys, stand up, squat press mode. Ugh. So let's really push that intensity now. Move faster, but don't neglect your core, right? I want you to really engage your mind-muscle connection. Squeeze the shoulders as you drive your arms into the sky. Ha. 10 more seconds, everybody. All right, team, in three, two, one. Come and join me on the ground for your final round of your Russian twist. Legs elevated, legs planted, you choose. Slow it right down, because remember, it's about to get super intense as we head into combat. That's right team, I'm already feeling some good pressure building up in the abs. But again, I dropped my heart rate so that I can be effective when I reach that combat zone. Team, it's five, four, three, two, and one. Take your recovery. Awesome stuff. Check your combat section team. 10 consecutive jab shot, followed by 10 consecutive cross. We then come down onto the ground, kick it through, one sit up, Two punches, also known as the crunch and punch. Now come and join me. When it comes to the crunch, we don't get weak, we just dig deep. Ready? 10 consecutive jab. Three, two, one, let's go. So let's really use this first minute and 30 seconds of your round to break down your boxing fundamentals. So it's 10 jab, 10 cross, and then we come down to the ground and we have 10 crunch and punch. Remember, two punches at the top of the movement counts as one rep. Jab punch, arms fully extended as I need to contact the head area of the opponent with my top two knuckles. But notice how I did lift my heel, that's gonna generate some good power coming to the lower body. Cross punch, imagine you are squishing a spider as we twist that foot and unleash the big power coming through your cross shot. Also remember your guard position, right? If I'm punching with left hand, my guard is up with my right hand. If I'm punching with right hand, my guard is up with my left hand and vice versa. Remember that crunch and punch. We spend minimal time with your shoulders on the ground and maximal time moving your body and squeezing your abs. Although this section is self-paced, I want you guys really to work hard and target your yellow and red zone targets. 
anaerobic training. Yes, it's gonna take you out of your comfort zone a little bit, but the rewards will be worth it. Tenja. So once you feel comfortable with that technique, you can really start throwing those shots a little bit faster. So imagine you are setting your opponent up with your jab shot and taking your opponent out with your cross shot. Crunch and punch is great conditioning work. We don't get weak, we just dig deep, right? <laughs> Woo! So guys, just over 60 seconds remaining. By now, you should be looking at touching that red zone. Remember that your my zone target today was nine to 18 minutes in the red zone. To achieve the minimum, you should be looking at something like a minute and 30 in cardio and a minute and 30 in combat per round. But the most important thing is that you challenge yourself. You think about your goals and your targets. That's gonna drive you through the rest of today's session. Take 45 seconds remaining. Notice how when I throw the jab this time, I'm taking a little step. That's gonna give me even more momentum, speed, tempo, as I throw that shot. But continue to make power your main priority as we throw that cross punch. Speed with the jab, power with the cross. Now by twisting your foot, turning your hips, you're really gonna generate power coming through the lower body. 80% of your power comes through the lower body in an upper body shot. And that's really gonna be relevant to elevating your heart rate. Guys, 10 more seconds. Can we get a few more repetitions? Ha. We've got this thing. Three, two, and one. Take your recovery team. Smashed it. There goes round number one. We have two more rounds remaining. So team, check this out. Round number two. We follow the same process in cardio. First 30 seconds is active recovery. Second 30 seconds is your cardio-based movement. This time we have a box skater. So we're looking for a figure of eight movement. So I go across to the left, diagonal to the right, across to the left, forward diagonal to the right. We're gonna discuss it in more detail in a few moments. Strength section is gonna go like this. We're gonna grab some resistance. Move number one for 30 seconds is a forward lunge with a rotation. Forward leg is powered out 90, drop your back knee, and we're externally rotating. Move number two, everybody, is gonna stay exactly the same again. You're gonna get to know the Russian twist very, very well today. So forward lunge with rotation, followed by your Russian twist. Combat section, it goes like this. We have 10 lead and rear foot jab combinations. So just like we did in the warm-up, lifting knee, pushing hips forward, and bringing the shoulders back in the opposite direction. So lower body strikes for round number two. Followed by high plank position, and we have 10 alternating mountain climbing knee strikes. So it's a little slower, and we focus on power. Target heart rate zone, of course, is yellow to red. Team, we start with your cardio section. Stand up, active recovery for the first 30 seconds. So just start the round by bouncing on the toes, now again, option if you want to lift that heart rate, just take that into more of a steady jog. So I'm starting to lift the heels up at the back. Now guys, check out your box skater. We jump back, diagonal right, across to the left, forward diagonal to the right, and then across to the left. So it's gonna train you mentally as well as physically. But don't worry guys, I'm right here with you. I'm gonna take you through this movement. Box skater, three, two, one. So from the center of my area, I jump back to far right. I jump across, over to the left. Forward diagonal right, over to the left. Now your top priority, at least for the first set, is trying to find range. So jumping as far and as wide as you can, but making sure that you land soft. Cut. We've got this thing. Wednesday night crew. This is where we lift it. All right team, in four, three, two, one. You can take your recovery. Bounce on the toes. Remember, part of thinking like a fighter and getting ready for combat is being light on the feet. So that we can throw our shots effectively, but be ready to defend at any time. But guys, let's get ready for your second set of your box skater. Opportunities for challenge. Jump further and jump faster. All right, team, in four, three, two, and one. Diagonal far right, let's go. Over to the left, and follow that process. 
So if you look at it, it's almost like you're drawing a box with a cross in the middle. 15 seconds to go. Remember that target heart rate zone is yellow to red. Guys, I know you're working hard. I know we're starting to push those red zones. We use your lactic energy system to allow your body to be even more explosive. It's three, two, one, take your recovery. Bounce on the toes. Remember to stay light on the feet. Keep the guard up if you want to. Find that extra shoulder engagement. Your active recovery movement. Uh, control your breathing. And again, get ready to smash this final block of 30 seconds. Red zone is your target. So we've got the range, we've got the power, we've got the distance. Can we start to move faster? Ah, guys, I'm gonna go with you. Me versus you. Ready team, in three, two, one, let's go. Ah. Speed, power, intensity. And remember that this is blaze. This is all about redefining intensity. This is all about how bad you want it and how much you're willing to give to make sure that you get there. 10 seconds, everyone. Ah. That's right. I know you guys are in red zone right now. I know you're working hard. We don't get weak. We just dig deep. Ha. And pause it. Wow. Guys, you really smashed that one. Great news. We get to bring the intensity down aerobically a little bit now. So grab your dumbbell, grab your water bottle, or just grab yourself. Guys, forward lunge, rotation. Forward leg is parallel at 90 and we rotate across the front knee. Guys, takeoff is in five, in four, three, two, one. Let's do this. Forward lunge, rotation. Remember that forward leg is powered at 90, and we're looking for a good external rotation. So rotating across the front knee. This is really gonna help to train your stability as well as your balance. So this is your opportunity now to drop the intensity aerobically and focus on good muscle pressure for the core and the lower body. All right team, come and join me on the ground. Let's get it, Russian twist. So if you have extra resistance at home, if you have more water bottles, if you have more dumbbells, go heavier. Challenge yourself, challenge your limits. Do not limit your challenges. Now we don't have to rush it here. So pushing yourself for this movement comes in the form of rotation. It comes in the form of range of movement. Four, three, two, one, stand up, forward lunge, rotation. Let's go. So guys, we're just around halfway for your workout. The good news team is that we're halfway. The even better news is, is that we're halfway. Guys, we're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. So don't try to rush the process here. Enjoy the process. Feel your mind and your body working together and feel your body changing at each rep. Russian twist. Let's go. Remember to think about your options. If you need to pop your feet down, by all means do so. Anchor that lower body. Lean back and focus on good pressure and good form. 10 more seconds. That's why by now, by now everybody, those abs should be on fire. But remember, we welcome that bird. That's your mind and your body telling you you're doing a great job. Forward lunge rotation. Let's go get this everybody, it's Wednesday night. That means we go get it. Allow your head to follow your body as you rotate. That's gonna give you more range. That's gonna force a reaction through your core which is going to train your stability. 10 more seconds. We don't get weak. We just dig deep, right? Three, two, one. Find yourself a space on the ground. Russian twist. Last round. Now guys, if you want, we can start to move a little bit quicker here. Start really building that anaerobic pressure in the stomach. Bring to my stomach, my abdominals, as well as my obliques targeted here. Try and keep your feet completely still, and then we rotate the body, mind and body, working together. Take it's three, two, one. Recover. Smash it, everybody. Guys, come and find yourself a space or find your area for your combat section. 
10 lead and rear foot jab combos, followed by mountain climb and knee strike. So it's a slower, more explosive, or slower controlled movement, or really driving the knee in towards your chest. Guys, stand up and get your mindset ready to smash this round. Team, it goes three, two, one, left up. So check it. Lead and rear counts as one, right? Remember the coaching points. Lift the knee, push the hips forward, and bring the shoulders back. Now, team, check out how I keep my lead arm up to protect myself from counter shots. But then I swing my rear arm back, that's gonna give me additional momentum. We find a high pad position, and we have 10 pairs of mountain climb and knee strikes. So it's controlled, but explosive at the same time. So we're really shocking your muscle fibers here. We control the movement, but really squeeze your abs as we drive your knee forward. Almost imagining we're trying to knee strike the body of your opponent. That's right, foot jab. So really make sure that you're happy with your form and your technique. But then if you can, we can start to add a little bit of a bounce as we throw that shot. That's gonna elevate your heart rate even more. So here, I'm driving from the ball of the toe on my standing leg to really help myself lift my heart rate. Yellow to red is your target. Success is our only option. Team, we have just over a minute and 30 to set ourselves up for the final round. Drop the base. Let's go. So some great core conditioning here. My upper body is also engaged. My shoulders are engaged to maintain my balance and support my upper body. Team, one minute and 20 seconds remaining. Ha. It's positive vibes only, everybody, on a Wednesday night. Think about how great you're gonna feel once you finish this workout today. We are one team, we are one dream. By now, everybody, you should be working in that red zone. Final 60 seconds. Remember to swing the arms to find that additional momentum. Ha. Pushing the hips forward, bringing the shoulders back. That also, Bringing my shoulders back also takes me away from any counter shots. Guys, my climbing knee strike. If we can start to speed the movement up a little bit, once you feel comfortable and once you feel happy with your technique, just over 30 seconds remaining. It's hard work, it's dedication. Find that extra 1%. Dig deep so that we can optimize your overall session output. 25 seconds, everybody. Let's go get this. I'm right here with you guys on this wonderful Wednesday night. Hard work, dedication. Ha. Woo. Ha. 10 more seconds remaining, everybody. We are so close to the end of round number two. It's three, it's two, and it's one. Wow. Guys, take your recovery. Awesome stuff. Now, of course, keep yourself hydrated. I'm gonna take you for your next full round of work, the final round. Movement in cardio this time is your toe touch skater. Opposite hand touches the opposite toe. Same format as earlier. Guys, strength section. Upper body versus lower body. We have a stiff leg deadlift followed by a high fall. So we're hinging for the hips, keeping your resistance and your weight nice and close to the body, and then lifting the elbows up towards the sky. Of course, you guys guessed it, right? Next movement is your Russian twist. Ha. We've got this. Guys, combat section, really explosive finish. Like we did in the skills demo, we have a jab, cross, and a roll 10 times. So I'm putting some of your shots together now. Followed by a scroll, high plank, 10, surfer pop up. So it's five on each side. So check this out. As I drive my knees forward, I'm raising the arm parallel to my knees, locking it in my abs as I drive my knees to the side of my body. If I need an option, I can walk in and walk out. 10 seconds until takeoff. Guys, the last round, it has to be the best round. And it's five, four, three, two, one. Little job on the spot. So guys, compose yourself. Get yourself ready to be explosive. 
for this final round. Remember that your movement was a toe touch skater. Opposite hand touching opposite toe. We have more range of movement now. So prepare yourself mentally and physically to smash this final round. That, here it comes everybody. Five seconds until takeoff. Toe touch skater. Ready team, three, two, one, go. That. So my opposite hand is touching my opposite toe. I'm elevating the rear leg. More range of movement is gonna give me more power. It's gonna give me more muscle. But if you need option, you can take it back to round number one and just lift your torso. Your workout, you choose. Or we have the lower impact courtesy lunge option. It's three, two, one. Take your recovery. Bounce on your toes and use this recovery time or active recovery time to really dial in. Really focus on what is important to you. Your goals, your targets, your aspirations. Use that as your drive and your motivation to take you through this next round. Remember to stay light on the feet. Think like a fighter. So get fired up, get ready to go. Toe touch skater, three, two, one. Let's get this everybody, let's go. So guys, it's time, right? It's time to really go after it now. So that means we put the work in now so that we can enjoy the results later. Set yourself up for the remainder of this week by smashing this workout today, right here, right now. 10 out of 10, your maximum effort, but most of all your personal best. Three, two, one, team, take your recovery. Stay light on the feet. Remember if you wanna use this time to shadow box a little bit to get you ready for that combat section, you can do that as well. All right, 15 seconds. I want to challenge you guys to see how fast you can move. To see how quickly you can shift from side to side. Challenge your limits, everybody. Do not limit your challenges. Red zone is your target. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's redefine intensity. Let's move. Let's lift. Let's fight together. Woo. That's right, team. It might be cold outside, but it's blazing in here. 10 more seconds. Can we jump higher? Can we jump wider? We don't get weak, we just stick deep. It's five, four, three, two, and one. Wow, team, I know you guys smashed that one. Check it, stroke section, your conditioning movement. We have one stiff leg deadlift, one high pull. So we're hinging for the hips. Slight bend in the knees. I'm keeping my resistance nice and close to the body to accelerate the movement. If you do not have weight team, we're gonna hit each work. Walk forward, walk back. Ready, let's do this. Woo! So I want a good hip hinge, lifting my heels at the top of the movement to find good range for the back of the leg. So all of the muscles in my posterior chain, my glutes, my hamstrings and my calves. Lift your elbows up nice and high to find more range for the shoulders. Let's do this. Woo. All right, team. Movement number two, Russian twist. Let's go. We know it well, right? Rotation, mind-muscle connection. Opportunity to drop your heart rate down. Guys, you can call this the calm before the storm, right? We're just slowing the intensity down before we get super explosive when we hit the combat section. Guys, 10 more seconds. All right, team. Woo. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand up. Deadlift, high pull. Let's go. Now, team, remember your option if you need it. We can hit that each one. Remember to look at hinging for the hips. Take four steps forward to the high plank position and then walk your feet toward your hands. You might find that you need to turn around before we hit your next repetition. Let's get it everybody. If you need option, slight bend in the knees, crawl forward, crawl back. Right team, come and join me for your Russian twist. I'm gonna face you guys this time. I'm watching you. That's right, I can see how hard you're working on this wonderful Wednesday night. 
Row that boat, everybody. Ah. By now, guys, again, your abs should be on fire. Remember that if it's not burning, then it's probably not working. So as I said earlier, welcome that burn you feel in your abs. Ah. We've got it, it goes, five, four, three, two, one, stand up. Let's do this. Remember, this is your last round. It has to be the best round. We are all blaze challengers. We are all blaze champions. All blaze superstars. So let's mentally as well as physically punch through that brick wall in front of you. And all champions who want challengers or contenders that refuse to quit, that refuse to give up. And we are not giving up. We don't get weak, we just dig deep. Team, find your space on the ground. Your final round of your Russian twist. Feel that lactic acid build up in your stomach. That is a byproduct, guys, of your hard work. This is hard work. This is dedication. This is blaze. This is redefining intensity. 10 more seconds. How bad do you want this? How much are you willing to give to make sure that you get there? Just a few more seconds. It's four, ah, three, two, one. Wicked. Woo! Take, take your recovery. 30 seconds, and let's make your way to the main event, the grand finale. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment that you've all been waiting for. We have your jab, cross, roll, 10 times. Followed by sprawl, high plank, circle pop up, 10 times in total, five on each side. Here he comes, everybody. The last round, the best round. Three, two, one, let's go. Jab, cross, roll. That's right. So if you're happy with your technique, if you're happy with your form, then really go for it now. Plant your feet, roll with the punches, and let your hands fly. That's right. You have hard work in your left hand. You have dedication in your right hand. So it's left, right, good night. Circle pop up, check it. So I'm rotating, I'm externally rotating my hips as I drive my knees forward. Imagine, you are compressing the spring as you drive your knees in. Imagine you are releasing the spring as your legs come back out. Let's get it. Ha. Jab, cross, roll. So turn your trunk, turn your torso. Give me that total body movement. When you roll, guard is up nice and high. Imagine you are rolling under a washing line. It's bobbing and it's weaving. We are confusing your opponent here. Ha. Nice, fast. Slot the sharp slip punches. Woo! Surf a pop up. That's right, everybody. Get your surfboard out and let's ride the wave together. In whatever weather, Blaze Drive, we smash the workout together. That's right. Those muscles should be on fire. And we head into the final one minute and 30 seconds. So let's get fired up. Let's get ready to go. Hard work, dedication. So keep moving, stay light on your feet, like we practiced earlier. Remember, if you need the option for the circle pop up, we can walk the feet in, walk the feet out, and we're lifting that hand. It's just like you're showing off, right? No hands. Let's do this. It's just like break dancing. Get your dancing shoes out, everybody. It might be Wednesday night, but every day is the weekend in my book. 60 seconds, let's do it. That's why, everybody, don't be afraid to make any noise as you throw those shots. You got it. Unleash your power. Unleash your aggression. Punch through your target, not just at your target. Let's go, 40 seconds, everybody. The finish line is in sight. So let's stay strong. Let's stay focused mentally as well as physically. Guys, how much fuel do you have left in the tank? And are you prepared to empty the tank for what is important to you? Your targets, your goals. The last 10 seconds, it's time to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Let's go. Woo. Four, three, two, one. Rest it. Wow. Wow, everybody. You absolutely 
annihilated that Wednesday night workout. Team, thank you so much for your energies. Thank you so much for your enthusiasm. We're just gonna take 30 to 45 seconds to digest what just happened and bring your body back down to some normality. Of course, I'm then gonna take you through a cool down as well as mobility. Again, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. It's my first David Lloyd Blaze at home workout. Such a pleasure to deliver this workout for you guys because I know how much special this workout is to me and to you. When you're ready, team, we're gonna hit soft knees, we're gonna keep the chest lifted, arms are out nice and wide, and we have your T pose. So, head is above the heart, we're gonna raise one arm up towards the ceiling, the other hand is facing down. Now, just look over to the palm of the hand that's facing up, and then just continue to alternate in your own time at a speed and a tempo that you feel comfortable with. Allow your mind, your body, to come back down to some normality after that super epic blaze workout. When you're ready, team, just relax the shoulders, relax the arms, and let's just hit some light torso rotation. Now, guys, here, if you check it out, I'm twisting my feet. And that's really relevant when you're throwing your, your shots and things like hook punches, things like cross punches, twisting the feet is so, so important to find that additional range of power. Now guys, before we go and hit some groundwork, we're gonna take your feet out a little wider and we hit your monkey reach. So we lift your top arm up towards your armpit and then we slide the other arm down your leg. That's right. So challenge your range by reaching lower and then lifting your arm up higher towards your armpit. You're really exposing the side of the abs. So important, especially after all of those Russian twists today. When you're ready team, we're gonna hit a high lateral lunge. So ideally, again, both of my toes are facing forward. I continue to keep my chest lifted. If you want an option, we can supinate or turn out that lead butt. That's gonna give me more range for my hips. Now from there, I'm gonna sink down low into the movement, reaching my arms out in front of me. Lift it up, and then we follow the same process on the other side of your body. I'm really starting to explore the range of movement through my glutes and my hips. Team, give me one more on each side. And when you're ready, you're just gonna drop that back knee. Again, continue to keep the chest lifted, but I just want you to take a few moments to focus on your hip alignment. Make sure that your hips are square. And I'm really engaging my glutes and my hips here by pushing those muscles forward. If you can, just slide that rear leg back and then reach the arms up. Pinch the shoulder blades together ever so slightly, reach back or hyperextend to find additional range through the lower back as well as the hip flexors. When you're ready, Drop the hand, externally rotate, bring the hand back into center, step left foot back, and step right foot forward. We follow the same process, everybody on the other side of your body. Again, we reach the arms up nice and high, pinch the shoulder blades together, and we reach back. Drop the hand furthest away from the knee, externally rotate, look back at your rear arm. When you're ready team, step the right foot back, drop your hips, and we find that good cobra stretch. Your head is facing the sky, we look up at the ceiling to open up the front of the stomach and the lower back muscles. When you're ready to, we're gonna to hinge to the hips again and hit that good down dog position and we're gonna find a hip or a foot pedal. So pedaling your feet from right to left, again, this is gonna give you some good posterior chain engagement. Through the back of the legs, hamstrings, glutes, calves. And when you're ready, find that high plank position again and begin to step or walk your feet outside of your hands. Now team, I'm gonna show you from a forward angle here. We're just finding that nice low caveman squat. My toes and my knees are positioned out and my heels are planted. Bring your hands together, exhale, push the elbows out to apply some light pressure to the glutes and the hips. When you're ready team, take your hands underneath the toes. We extend the legs, just maintain forward forward for a few moments. And when you're ready, slowly begin to roll your body up. Guys, thank you so, so much for your energies today. Remember, we can take the blaze out of the blaze studio, but we can't take the blaze out of the blaze tribe. So when you're ready, bring your left hand in to the screen. Let's make some noise. Say it loud, say it proud. By count of three, we shout blaze. It's one, two, three, blaze. Guys, thank you so, so much for joining me. My name's Dan the Man. I was your blaze at home trainer for today. Guys, remember to check out all of your awesome uh, David Lloyd at home workouts on the app. 
including your holistic workouts such as spirit, such as stretch and mobility, yoga flow with Gemma, with Rachel and JP. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay safe and I'll see you same time next Wednesday for your Blaze at Home workout. Down the man, over and out. Thank you so much, guys.